mean, let, you know, graph it out, man. We're speeding toward assassination, obviously. And no one will say that, but I don't, I don't know how you can't reach that conclusion. You know what I mean? Like, they have decided, permanent Washington, both parties have decided that there's something about Trump that's, that's com- so threatening to them, they just can't have him. I mean, they're putting him on trial in March of next year in the J6 case, which basically consists of trying to send him to prison for the rest of his life for complaining about the last election. That's literally what it is. Again, if this were happening in Moldova, the State Department would issue an all-hands-on-deck order to let the world know this is not a legitimate government. And yet our government is doing it. It's like it I, it's it's really it's hard to overstate how bad this is. And I'm not I, I don't I don't know where it's going, but there's a collision that's clearly imminent. And by the way, the president is senile in a way that's impossible to deny. Biden's not running the government, you know, so like. I don't know. I've never been this worried about anything as I am about where this is going. I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. Maybe there will be. People need to start taking to the streets. This is a dictator. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. Enemies of the state. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless. When they go low, we kick How do you resist the temptation to run up and wring her neck? The biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right up to the right. I thought he should have punched him in the face. I said, even if you lost, he insulted your wife. Yes. He came down the escalator and called Mexicans rapists and murders. He said, well, what do you think I should have done? I said, I think you should have punched him in the face and then gotten out of the race. Yeah, you would have well, been a hero. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said, if we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Punch some people in the face! When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump, and that's a fact. Look as his character is stabbed to death. Where is John Wilkes Booth when you need him? I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. A Missouri state senator is under investigation by the Secret Service after saying she hopes President Trump... Donald Trump and the people around him perceive themselves to be under threat. And that's all that matters. That is that is not legitimate. That is wrong. I do want to say there was one thing that when I watched the tape, I found odd uh, because of all of the heated rhetoric. And that is that after he was hit... Uh, Former President Trump got up and said, fight, fight, fight. I think what we're hearing from people is that's not the message that we want to be sending right now. We want to tamp it down. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. is that the FBI stands with the people of Butler County in western Pennsylvania and our hearts go out to the victims of this heinous act which occurred today. This is our community and I wanted to let the public know that the FBI has deployed a number of our resources including investigative agents, our evidence response team, bomb technicians, and we have additional resources coming from other field offices, as well as from FBI headquarters, including our evidence response from Quantico, Virginia. We have intelligence analysts as well, working from our field office in Pittsburgh, working feverishly to attempt to identify the individual who did this and any motives behind why this was done. Right now, we need the public's help anyone who was on scene who saw anything, who identified any information, please report that to the FBI using either the phone number 1-800-CALL-FBI or online at fbi.gov butler.
This evening we had what we're calling an assassination attempt against our former president, Donald Trump. It's still an active crime scene. As I mentioned, we have a number of agents on scene. We also are working closely with other federal agencies, our state partners, and our local police partners as well. Again, at this time, we are not prepared to identify who the shooter is. Uh, we are close to that identification, and as soon as we are 100% confident in who that individual is, we will share it with the press. With that being said, also, we do not currently have an identified motive, although our investigators are working tirelessly to attempt to identify